All right, so we just passed from Serbia into Kosovo now. And as symbolic as it can get, it like literally just started heavily snowing literally at the border. It's really crazy. Uh, it's not really coming up on the camera very well. But as we were coming up the mountain pass toward the border, there was a couple flakes in the air. And like literally as soon as we got through the checkpoints, it's just like heavy snowflakes now. Funny story, we got stopped by the police again in Serbia this time. Um, not doing anything wrong, of course. They just did a random stop for us. But this time it was nice because when the cop found out that there was like a Polish woman and an American guy in an Albanian car, he just got so confused and he just waved us through. He's like, okay, just go. So didn't have to pay any bribes this time, which is nice. Anyways, we're going into, uh, we're trying to get to Peja in Kosovo and hopefully we'll get there in the next hour or so. All right, we're back in Kosovo now, uh, taking a pit stop on the way to Peja. And don't judge me, but for some reason I just want Burger King. I know I'm, I'm doing like an international travel thing. I shouldn't be eating American food, but we had to stop at a gas station to eat something. So this just seemed like a good idea. I feel guilty. Peja now. Hopefully the clouds break so we can actually see the city in the daylight. Maybe tomorrow. There's the legendary Peja Brewery. Good morning on the final day of my little road trip. This is day 10. Uh, I'm still in Kosovo right now. We'll be here for a couple hours. So I'm going to check out Peja during the daytime because we arrived at night. Uh, and then we'll go to Jakova for a quick stop. And then we'll uh, do our final border crossing back into Albania and head down to Durez and end the vacation right there. So this is the city of Peja in Kosovo. Nice small city at the foothills of these mountains. Unfortunately, you can't really see the mountains due to the weather. Um, Peja is known for the brewery that they have here. They make the Peja beer. There's an old bazaar in town I'll go walk through that and see if some shops are open and get some footage down at the street level. on our way to see a waterfall and we found these interesting little I don't know property markers old fences made out of stone that are kind of interesting trying to find this waterfall Google Maps is not entirely helpful right now this is not shown as a road on Google Maps it's shown as a walking path I think we're probably gonna have to get out of the car and walk it okay we decided to park and walk uh, there's a bunch of big animal bones here. <laughs> I just happened to park on some. That's a little bit strange. Um, but anyways, let's uh, go try to find that waterfall. One of the reviews online said, don't trust Google Maps. It doesn't take you to the right place. And I wouldn't be surprised, but I double checked with a different map app and uh, there should be a viewpoint around here. So it might not take us to the waterfalls exactly, but I think it'll take us somewhere interesting. I can see there's a big canyon over here, so hopefully I'll be coming up on something soon. The trail is definitely very primitive here. There's a lot of garbage back there, so people definitely come down this way. It's not like I'm in the middle of nowhere, but there's no signs for this trail at all. So people could definitely get confused about where this is supposed to go. You can call this a trail kind of hard to see on the camera there there's absolutely nothing here it's a complete waste of time and I've got to try not to get lost do not trust Google Maps to take you to the Mirusha waterfalls 
It's literally a trap. You'll get out of your car here and there's a lot of different trails that all kind of look the same. You could definitely get lost. Luckily, I'm a trained professional, so I know how to navigate the land. We're still trying to find this waterfall. We're on what we thought was supposed to be a walking trail, but it turns out it's drivable. So if this doesn't work out, we'll have to give up. Hopefully we find it. Okay, I think we found it. According to the map, there's a church up here too, so we will look for that. Well, there's no way to get cars in here. Well, maybe there's a small dirt trail, dirt road over there. I'm not gonna lie, the waterfall has a strange green color to it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. The water here doesn't look very good, but it's kind of a cool area. water here has a strange green color to it but so did some of the rocks as we were driving in we first noticed a lot of the rocks had a really nice red color and then it kind of transitioned to a green color which is very strange to me I don't know how that geology works uh, so maybe that's why the water is kind of colored green but I don't know it's 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 strange Walking around Giacova now. This is the final planned stop on my little road trip. So I'm just gonna walk around the old town here. It's gonna be more of the same, just a lot of shops and cafes. So a couple minutes of filming and I think we'll be done with the video. Traditional Albanian clothing. place would be cool on a nicer day but since the weather's a little bit cold I think everybody's hiding inside not hungry at all but I think we'll try to find a bakery since Kosovo as I mentioned before Kosovo has a lot of good bread maybe I'll just get something small to take on the road with me I'm gonna try out one of these little grill houses that I've been seeing all over Kosovo it's like a little small restaurant and uh, outside of it they kind of have like a window where you can see them cooking the food. It always looks really good so we'll give it a shot. So this is a great spot for you if you're just trying to have a quick lunch at work. You come in here, just pick whatever meat you want, it's all raw right now and then he just grills it right here. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of spicy, some kind of a spicy meat on bread. A nice small snack. All right, so we basically just got some spicy meat patties in there with some vegetables. And you can put the option of uh, ketchup and mayonnaise and things like that, but I, I skipped that because the bread is flavorful, the meat's flavorful, so it's simple for a couple dollars that's all you need this is my final adventure in Kosovo we'll be at the border soon the border's less than an hour away so be back to Albania and then back to the you know business as usual so hope you enjoyed watching the adventure <laughs>